Hello, this is Michael Tracy. And the snow monkeys over at the Yeti Academy have been jumping up and down over a report that Conrad Anchor was headed back to the north side of Everest. One would think that Conrad Anchor going back to Everest on the eve of the 100-year anniversary of Mallory and Irvin's climb would be a larger story. But for some reason, the sponsors of the expedition, National Geographic and North Face, have been unusually quiet about exactly what is going on. The basic information is that North Face athlete Jim Morrison wanted to ski down the Hornbine Coolwar to honor his wife, who died while the two were skiing down Makalu in 2022. North Face and National Geographic put together an expedition that was supposed to take place in September and October of this year. However, before the expedition arrived in Tibet, Conrad Anker and photographer Jimmy Chin were denied entry. The rest of the expedition was permitted to go to the mountain, but once they started climbing, the Chinese canceled the entire thing. The Hornbein Couloir got its name from the 1963 American expedition when Tom Hornbein realized that climbing the direct West Ridge route would be impossible and decided to traverse over to the Couloir to the left. The rest of the team thought it was a bad idea and took to calling it Hornbein's Avalanche Trap, but Dr. Hornbein realized that that name was problematic and insisted they should instead call it Hornbein's Couloir. And while the moniker stuck, the Hornbein Couloir has remained an avalanche trap claiming the lives of numerous climbers, including Marco Sofredi, who perished attempting to snowboard down Hornbein's avalanche trap. Exactly why Morrison thought it would be a good idea to honor his wife in this manner is just one of the things that should make your Yeti senses tingle. It is also not clear how Conrad Anker, who had retired from high-altitude climbing after a heart condition nearly killed him in 2016, would assist with such a risky attempt. The north side of Everest has been closed since 2019 to foreign climbers, and Anchor has no experience organizing expeditions on the north side where whiskey bribes and black yaks are how people get up the mountain. In 2012, Anchor attempted to climb the Hornbein Couloir from the south side, but abandoned the attempt when he realized it was a giant avalanche trap. Anchor would go on in 2012 to summit from the traditional route on the south side, and much like Mallory and Irvin, he would gather summit rocks to help resolve geological questions. I'll link to the articles about the canceled expedition in the description, but as with any news stories, you have to apply common sense. For instance, the articles make it seem they intended to climb the Hornbein Couloir direct and then ski down it. While such a route would be extremely dangerous, and much like Marco Sofredi, they probably intended to climb the standard route to the summit and then descend via the Hornbein Couloir, as this limits the avalanche danger to the descent. And yet, an article in the Himalayan Times says they specifically had a permit to climb the Hornby Direct with no explanation as to where they were putting their camps. And to clear up some of the timeline, although the popular climbing season in Everest is in April and May, there's also a fall climbing season during October and November in which the snows and winds are at moderate levels. Thus, while Everest has been climbed at all times of the year, the spring and fall windows are the most popular, with the spring being the busiest of the two. More interesting is what Anchor's involvement could mean for the theory that Andrew Irvin was found in 2019. There are reasons to believe Irvin was found in 2019, and I will get into those in an upcoming video.